welcome to my channel so this video is about how you can back up a table in sql server okay so think about the scenario where you want to update a record in your table but before updating you need to take a backup of your table uh, you know you have the option of taking the full database backup but there uh, if there is a millions of records or you know a lots of records uh, so it database size would go to i think 200 to 500 mbs or much more so in that case it is not sufficient to take uh, backup each and every time whenever you want to update a record in your table so it is really not efficient so in that case you will really need to take a backup of your table on which you are going to perform any dml statements okay so let's get started I have the database here, my sales stack, under which I have the table called uh, m underscore user master. It contains all the records of our user. So I'll show you first what it contains. So select a strict from m underscore user master. I just fire this query. Uh, so I have uh, these three records in my table right now. Okay, now I have to update the name smith to george okay so what the procedure is i have to update a record so i have to uh, you know fire the dml statement but before uh, you know firing any dml statement including your update delete okay so i have to take the backup so for this you need to write select hold on select a strict into your temporary table name just uh, in my case it is temp user master from m underscore user master okay so what does this query do it will copy all the records from your original table that is m underscore user master and copy these records into the this table temp user master so um, you know along with copying all the records it will automatically create a table called temp user master which has the same schema as of m underscore user master okay i just fire and show you how it works okay three rows affected it means all the three records from my original table is transferred or copied to this new table so I just refresh here and you can see um, the table has been created here is your records okay now you can easily um, perform any update query on your table like I'm updating update m underscore user master set name equals to george where id equals to two okay i just fire this and show you now it has changed okay now if uh, i really get to know that uh, the query i have fired is wrong or mistakenly i have given the name george so you can always uh, you have the safe records on your uh, table you can always remodify this okay i just show you the backup table records which is temp user master here is your old records okay smith uh, in smith and uh, the new one is george so you can again uh, you know copy your original records in this case we know that uh, we have mistakenly give the name smith uh, george 
so we just need to recover smith but uh, you know when there is a millions of record you don't know, you don't know that uh, which record has updated or what uh, mistakenly you have done to your original table so in that case you will really need a table backup this is all about for today uh, now for any specific video uh, what you want to see i'll just um, just comment down in the comment section below i'll just surely make the videos on your demands okay thank you so much for watching see you in my next video till then bye